Hello, hello, hello. Does not look like I have good signal. Hmm. Maybe I'm asking the computer to do too much. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Hmm. Hmm. Picture's blurry. There we go. How about now? Am I still blurry? Way better. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome in, Usama. Thank you so much for all that. Let's start from the beginning. Lando Hecklefish. I think that's uh, Sue. Welcome. Or maybe, no. It's either Sue or Scott. I know that name. Darn it, I forget. Cosman, welcome in. When I got important stuff to do, I will complain to management. Well, Cosman, hopefully you watch the replay. Maybe you're able to make it. Um, but thank you. Thank you and thank you. Linda Worth, welcome in. How's Emma? I haven't seen her. Hope she's doing well. There's Laura, welcome in. There's Steve, welcome in. Coro, Diane, good seeing you and Richard this week. Big Steve, welcome in. And there's Matt, welcome in. And perfect. There we go. It's clear enough now we can see your computer screen in your glasses. I probably need to work on the lighting in here. Maybe I need like one of them light thingies that shines towards me. I might actually be able to, I think I might have one that will, will work for that. Maybe. Zenny's here. Zenny. Making meatballs so icky hands can't talk. Oh, okay. But lurking a little off. I like meatballs. Welcome. All right. And Diane found out after it was you I met at work at the ticket booth. <laughs> yes, Diane and Richard were there. All right. Um... So yeah, I got a lot to a lot to talk about. But first, wanted to share my first Miller Light at the house with you guys. Cheers, everyone. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a nice cold beer here yet. All right. Um, now it's an image. There we go. So, what do we have to update on? Where do I begin? Well, I got my um, Myrtle swag in. So, I got the towel. And I got the mouse pad or desk pad. I don't know what you call it. Um, the, it it's not perfectly centered like this. The left side has more of a border than the right side. Um, I think that's probably the company that makes it issue, I'd imagine. But it's uh, it's still beautiful, and it's still a memory of Myrtle, and that's all that matters. So I got that. Uh, I now have a desk set up. Um, first one. I've had in many, many, many years um, at the apartment, I used a folding table and I now have a desk with shelves um, and a much better setup here, like an actual like office setup, computer setup. It's really nice. It was a pain to put together. Now, that absolutely sucked putting this thing together. Oh, excuse me, but I did it. Um, and I got everything run together, uh, printers over there. Um, so I have a decent amount of desk space here, which is really nice. Uh, I have a piece of furniture right here that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it here or not. I kind of like it because it creates closure, um, and gives me more storage space. <clears throat> However, there's not much room next to it 
because I do have a chair over here, um, which I could also potentially put over there as well. I have a little bit of open space on that side. Uh, so I'm not sure if I want to put this piece of furniture there um, or the chair over there. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's the first time I've sat down today, in, or at least in a long time today. So I, uh, I have, um, but yeah, catching up to me, getting tired. So the desk is here. I don't have a curtain on this wall yet. I don't know if I want to do a mini blind, a curtain, or nothing. Um, the TV is mostly blocking it for privacy, but there is like a nice little gap right here that I can still see out. And I also get a really nice breeze. It's very comfortable. Um, so not sure what I want to do with that yet. Uh, I do have my little whiteboard hanging on the wall here, which is very convenient. And then I got my desktop on right here. Um, which is really good. And then I have the green screen up is at the, um, at the apartment. I used to, I had it very ghetto. -y attached at the top and then I would have to fold it up and use a clamp to keep it draped up. Um, because of the, uh, the kitchen doors right behind me. Excuse me. Oh my God. I haven't yawned. I didn't yawn until I sat down. Um, so I use command strips to hang it up. Uh, hopefully it works. I mean, knock on wood, it's doing good so far, but it's really nice not having to set it up and take it down every time I stream. Um, it's just an overall better setup. I really like it. Uh, I did add a fish tank in here today. It's a two gallon. Um, um with the two gallon i have it on a little white like shelf thing it's a little wobbly but it's not going anywhere i don't think it's the perfect size um it's the uh, the tank is a fluval whatever the fluval two gallon is or maybe it's a three gallon um i think it'll be really nice in here Probably put some shrimp in it and some nano fish. I think that would be pretty decent. Let me catch up and chat. All right. Linda Shady Grady's here. Welcome. Jenna P is here. Welcome. The devil is here. Welcome. Did it say who got you the desk? I'll have to go look. I remember. Oh my God. This is terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, there's Usama isn't the bow front next to you. That's downstairs. So I I am in my office, which is the second floor spare bedroom. The bow front is in the first floor spare bedroom, which I don't have 100% set up yet. Um, but I did work on that a bit today. So the 46-gallon bow front, I think it is, um... I'm almost done setting that back up. It has a decent amount of water. Um, the Hillstream loaches that were in there that I never was able to catch and get out are still alive. At least two of them I saw. Um, I think I only had three, though, which the third one could potentially be in there. I don't know. Uh, the rabbit snails are in there. They're doing very well. And I think I saw a couple pepper quarries in there as well. Um, also in there, in that same room, I have, I, today I put in the 14 gallon Aquion rimless, or they call it the rimless, but it has a bottom rim. It just doesn't have a top one. I put that in there and that's almost full. I, I'm like halfway filled up. And then the low iron rimless that I want on, uh, Tams is going to go in there too. That's not set up yet. Speaking of that room, uh, last night, Cosman came over and helped me get a 
uh, treadmill into that room. It was in my car. Um, I got it out of the car myself, but there was no way I could get that thing in. That thing was heavy. Um, but he came over last night, helped me get that in. Thank you so much, Cosmo. I appreciate that. Uh, I could have done it myself. And then the recliner that I used to sit in, um, the apartment when I streamed is going to be in there as well. So that room's coming along. Um, and then the living room, I made huge progress on today as well. I um, still have a decent amount more to do. I hung mini blinds for the first time in my life, and that process absolutely sucked. I did not enjoy that whatsoever. Um, they turned out okay, I guess. Uh, so that's all set up in there. And I put together my second recliner that I have. Uh, put that together. That's set up now. And starting to just starting to arrange things, I guess you could say. The kitchen, every time I make progress, I bring more stuff in or move stuff from a different room. But it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Um, let's see here. Chat here. What do we got? Big Steve, welcome in. It is not a tall boy. It's just a little Miller Lite. Or is that just perspective? There you go. Louisville spec is what that is. Thank you, Sama. Uh, what's everyone's favorite way to keep adult egg scatters away from eggs frying the pond tub? I have no clue. Uh, but musical tanks or musical tubs, I guess. Yeah. Floating pan, pan, pants. Plants. That's a good idea. Semi-aquatic plants should provide a lot of hiding space. It's a good idea. Uh, Al Sean, welcome in. I use smooth river rock about two inches and one inch for substrate. Eggs fall in the crevices. Also use horn work for fire. That's a good idea, too. There you go. Um, downstairs in the basement, um, again, continuing to make great progress. Uh, Almost all of the tanks have water in it now. Um, I have three five gallons, and the two 40 breeders do not have water in them yet. Everything else, I believe, does. Um, the, the bulk of the fish, though, right now are in shoe boxes because I wanted to hurry up and get them out of the bags and put them into... Uh, get them in clean water, but they're doing perfectly fine. They're mostly killifish, which are perfectly fine in shoe boxes anyway. Um, you know, it's not the optimum conditions for breeding or anything, but they're content. <clears throat> um, I got the rack up. I got, actually, I got both racks up. Uh, I'm working on a third shelf um, cinder blocks, two by fours. Then I'll put a piece of plywood on it, and that's going to be for the five gallons and one, I guess it's a four gallon maybe. Um, but I want to cut the corner of the plywood on an angle to, uh, where it meets at the door just to give me a little more space walking in so I don't bang into it. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to get a saw. So I... Um, I did have some old tools from the landscaping business a long time ago um, that I owned. And the battery for the Sawzall, um, I, have, I have two Sawzalls. One's a DeWalt, one's a Craftsman. The Craftsman one is the one that I have a battery for, and the battery is no good. I charged it up, and it did not last more than 30 seconds. Um, I do have multiple, however, the one that I have a battery for does not go with the Sawzall, only for the drill. So, I have the charger for it, I just don't know where the battery is. Um, so, I do need to, I bought a weed whacker last night, a DeWalt battery powered weed whacker last night. Um, but, of course, you know, while I have two good batteries... Neither of them are the right size for the Sawzall. So I'm either going to have to buy a battery or a different 
saw. I guess really a sawzall would not be the tool of choice for it. Um, so unless the battery is really cheap for it, I'm probably just going to get a circular saw that goes with the uh, weed whacker battery because that's the more powerful one and the newer one. Laura, that's a really good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that's the progress down there. I did plug in the dehumidifier today. It says after 48 hours, you're supposed to unplug it for 10 minutes. I don't know if that's a realistic thing or accurate thing or not. Um, I guess I can do it, whatever. Um, but we'll see. Youngster these days can't grab a handsaw anymore. I don't have one of them either. But maybe I'll get one of those too. Or instead. Sounds a lot cheaper. And again, uh, thank you so much, Cosmic, for your help last night. Um, let's see. What else do I have? So that's downstairs. The air loop is not connected yet. I had to go to Home Depot. And... Um, I had to get the hangers for the PVC, and I think that's probably going to be the next thing on my list, probably. Um, so I think I have everything I need for it now, so I'm probably going to do that uh, this week. And then the next challenge will be the lighting. I'll tell you when I do plug in. I've, I've plugged in a couple times. I don't have it set up the way I want it, but the LED shop lights that I used for my old fish rack, I just put them in the room and it makes all the difference in the world. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep them and a couple other lights. Uh, might want to get one or two more strips of the uh, shop lights as well, just because it makes all the difference in the world. And then I'm going to use uh, one of the stretch rods that I got and put like a curtain up just to kind of keep it condensed and make it um, easier for the dehumidifier to keep the humidity and moisture levels down in that room. The other basement room, uh, I cleaned up quite a bit today as well. I used the spray insulation, um, the spray foam, the expanding spray foam around the basement windows because there were a couple holes there just to better insulate it a bit. And um, it did pretty good. I'm pretty content with that, I think. I do have uh, a whole unopened can in case I need that as well. Uh, but I'm pretty impressed with how that worked. And like I said, I cleaned that up a bit. It does have some shelving in there that magically is the perfect size for the shoe boxes, which is really good for killifish, uh, especially for babies. So I'm probably going to keep that set up. And then I'm probably going to do one set of shelving in there as well. Um, that's Cosmo says that's why you go to the flea market and get the three dollar and a file. Yeah. Um that's a good idea, actually. That's a really good idea. Might go down to Newcastle and get some stuff. Let's see. So that's the basement. Uh the backyard. I did some landscaping. Um Put some pavers in and some stone just to help with the mud and water control. Uh, it made a huge difference. It's a lot better for sure. Um, however, um, I think I probably need two or three more bags of stone. And ultimately, I still do plan to get a load of the uh, millings in and put that down and frame it out just to keep it content. But for short term and for such little money, it made a huge difference. I'm very happy with that as well. Uh, I don't think I had it done by last Monday. I don't remember. But I did get two uh, Y valves and put that on the washer line um, and ran a garden hose to... Uh, for both rooms. I have a short garden hose for the room where the washer is to fill up tanks in there. And then I have the longer garden hose that goes to the other fish room 
and it's absolutely the perfect size for that as well. Um, and yeah, so now the next thing I need to get is a filter sock to uh, drain the water into it. And I think I might actually do like a PVC drain line um, with some T-valves in it. Um, or not valves, T's, some T's in it that I can use just to drain the water on a slight angle that goes to the filter sock and then right into the sump pump. I think that will work really good and make my life a lot easier between that and the hose. However, the cold water coming out of the dishwasher, or dishwasher, uh, washing machine is, I don't want to use this cold water to go right into the tank. So I'm still thinking that I'm going to use a trash can, fill that up, and run the pump out of that. Just so I can give it a day ahead to uh, water acclimate, or temperature acclimate. Can't talk. Alshon used used a bow saw the other day to cut a tree limb. Yep. Um, I do have a bow saw, but I doubt it's very sharp and probably wouldn't work good for plywood. Welcome in, Richard. Good seeing you this week. All right, one second. I need to blow my nose. All right, much better. Uh, let's see what else we got. So, yeah, this week has been a lot of moving stuff around, getting it into the appropriate rooms, putting stuff together, uh, putting up mini blinds, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, been quite a bit. Uh, there is one tiny, tiny, very slow drip in the kitchen sink drain um it's in the basement the where the um there's an elbow pvc elbow that has a very slight drip when i run the sink that's the drain line um so i got a rubber elbow last night at home depot for that and in a couple weeks after i get everything else done i'm going to go and swap that out it's not hurting anything in the basement where it's dripping um, but I want to get that fixed. Big Steve says, do you have a decent set of cordless power tools? So I have a good, um, corded, is that the right word? Electric? Yeah, electric. I have a good DeWalt electric drill. I have a battery DeWalt drill that's really good as well. Um, but I think I want to get a, uh, circular saw. And either a Sawzall or a battery for the Sawzall I have. I got to check the prices on that to see which is worth it. I bought a Weed Whacker last night, so that has a brand new battery um, with a DeWalt. So it might be better using that. I'm not exactly sure. Welcome in, Kelly. This is thrilling content I came here for. Of course. Um, let's see. So, yeah. Curtains, mini blinds. Um, I think that's all I got for house update. Finally, ending it up um, for the uh, house update, the Amazon... Uh, registry that I put together. Thank you so much for everyone who has 
uh, set stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, definitely a huge help. Stuff that I didn't even know I needed, that I'm learning that I need. I did go in today and update it. I deleted stuff that I probably don't need now that I'm realizing. Um, or stuff that I couldn't wait for and I had to buy myself. Um, but I did, uh, I added a couple things. Are they not showing up? Oh, there we go. I hit see more items. Make sure they're here. Yes. There we go. Good. I just want to make sure I got everything on here. Cool. So yes, it is updated. Um, also, what I did is I went and clicked um, priority or prioritize um, on five items that are what I really need right now. Um, let me share my screen. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Ugh. Oh. Chat just jumped on me big time. All right. Uh, wait for 4th of July sales and grab some of the packages that go with your chosen cordless ecosystem. That's a good idea. Buy an extra battery for the weed whacker to have on hand. That's a good idea as well. Um, what I did is I got the weed whacker first. I think I can probably cut all the grass with the weed whacker. If not, I'm probably going to get one of them old-fashioned real mowers. Um, maybe. I, I think that would really help for the front yard. The backyard, I'm pretty sure I can use the weed whacker. But we'll see. Uh, Jenna, did I already go over Clash stuff? No, not yet. Uh, Big Steve says, the Walton Milwaukee are stupid expensive. I hate Ryobi. But they're basically the homeowner version of Milwaukee, and they make a million different tools. Once you get a few batteries, you can get the tool only. Yeah. Yeah. You got new fish, Scotty, one of my favorites. Yes, I'll get to that in a second as well. And Coro says, it's tough because I'm sure some of these random companies like Ego Power or Bauer or Works or whatever to the Exactly. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And then Kelly says, did you get a lawnmower yet? Kelly, I think you're a little behind in the stream. Um, I'm going to buy, I'm going to be buying DeWalt just because I already have batteries and my cordless drill is Craftsman made by Milwaukee. It's a knockoff M12 drill and that line is discontinued. Yeah, I mean, I got, I have two different DeWalt batteries, two different volts. Um, and that's all I have that works battery wise are the two DeWalt's. So maybe if I got like a circular saw that came with a battery that is the same size as the weed whacker, that would probably be really convenient. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I got to price it out. Kelly says my sister mm -hmm. uses a real mower. It works, but you really need to keep on top of it. Yeah. Matt says my stuff is mostly 18-volt Ryobi, but I started buying 20-volt DeWalt as well. I think... Let me see here. I think I took a picture of it. Oh, what the heck? I thought I... Oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, the Weed Whacker's a 20-volt. The Craftsman Sawzall is a 19.2 volt. The Drill is an 18 volt. And then the Sawzall is... Twenty four volt. Yeah. So ba basically I got a lot of mixed match stuff. However, 
all of the previous tools um, I got for free. So, you know, if I'm able to get some of them working, that's great. If not, no big deal. Kelly says, my internet is slow. I understand. We know DeWalt and Ryobi aren't going anywhere and that they aren't going to change battery ecosystems anytime soon. If they do, there's plenty of aftermarket support for them. Yes. I like DeWalt. Pricey, but decent tools, I would say. All right, let me share my screen. So I went in and prioritized some stuff. Um, so they're not in an order. It's just the stuff that I need the most. Um, a vacuum. I, I need a good vacuum. My vacuum's very old. Um, and like I'm going to keep the old one, but it would be better to use probably just for the one room. <laughs> in the base or the first floor, to be honest, that has carpet. Um, and then for upstairs, the entire second floor is carpeted. So I would like a good vacuum for up here. A shop vac, I think that would be something good to have. I definitely need to, um, to clean the basement floors and the steps. So I think a shop vac might be best for that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use to clean it after I vacuum. Like, I think I want to vacuum it and then, I don't know, scrub it somehow, really. I think it's time that I finally get a TV. Um, I have a good spot for it in the living room now and places to sit. Um, and, yeah, I, th I think it's time. A ring doorbell. Um, I actually put two of them on for, for this one. Uh, one for the front door, one for the back door, um, I think would be really good. I don't have any exterior storage, so I got this little storage shed thingy on it. I don't need anything big or fancy. I think this would really do the job. Um, right now, I have stuff like just on my back steps, so it's not secure, and it's definitely not sightly by any means. Um, I think it would really... Uh, Come in handy. And maybe that's. So those are the priority items. Next, um, there's a bunch of different pots and pans on here. I don't have any decent ones right now. So that's why they're on here. However, I also wanted to put different prices, price options, and different um, types. So there's this set that's 80 bucks but then down here there's also um a smaller kit that's 52 bucks um a single frying pan that's 17 another one that's 30 couple pans that are 22 um so there's options you know uh wall clock i like this one because it also has the temperature and the date and the time and date um so i figured that would be, be pretty cool something to hang coats on uh right now i don't have anything i just throw them on the chair so that would be helpful foldable uh laundry drying rack i don't have one it's not an urgent need by any means these thermo pros um it's a two pack i could definitely use for the fish room as well I want to put a bigger whiteboard down in the basement. Some other kitchen stuff. I'm trying to get better in the kitchen. What can I say? Comforter set. I don't have one. Do pillows. I just have some cheap old ones that are like 10 years old. And then some other miscellaneous stuff. That would come in handy. So, that's everything. Okay. Get a five-gallon bucket shop back kit. 
Yeah, that would work. Don't need a doorbell. I have chihuahuas. Nice. My cats are terrible doorbells. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, next, we'll talk about... Oh, Thrift stores and TJ Maxx are better places to get cookware. You can get much higher quality for a better price. Okay. Instead of buying a whiteboard, go to Lowe's and get a sheet of shower siding. Much cheaper. Cut it the size you want, and it's the same as dryer wasteboard. Did this a long time ago in teaching. Interesting. Go to Lowe's and get a sheet of shower siding. Okay, interesting. I'll try that. Um, restaurant supply stores are good too. Okay, cool. Next on the list is the clash. Um, not much to update on there, but we have. Um, let's see here. Two hundred. No, that's last year. There we go. 135 full registrations. So I think that's actually 136 now. Uh, five day registrations. Our all inclusive number, I believe, is now 155. We are up to, I think it's 25 vendors now, taking up 38 spaces. All the aquascaping spots are sold with one person on the waiting list. Um, so things are coming along very nicely. Um, what else with the clash? Show class sponsorships are live. Uh, still have quite a few there. We did sell another show award one. Thank you, Dee for that. And, uh, we still have quite a few speaker sponsorships that are needed. There's some speakers that still don't have any sponsorships at all. So we definitely need some there. Um, let me think. We have a committee meeting this upcoming Sunday. And yeah, that's it for the clash. ACLC, we have a meeting this Saturday, this upcoming Saturday. Josh Wagner's going to be talking on conservation. So uh, he's he's a fun speaker. So I'm looking forward to that. It will be back at the firehouse for the first time um, in been a few months since we've been there. So looking forward to that, getting back in the normal routine. This past Saturday, I went to the Chester County um, swap. It's the first one. It's their, uh, they're thinking about putting a club together, so they did a swap. Um, they had a decent amount of vendors, unfortunately, um, not that many in attendance for it, um, uh, but for the first time and for the location, I think it was a, it was a good enough turnout. Um, I did get some stuff, so I did pick up, um, you know, I kind of wait till the end when stuff is a little cheaper. But I got some sunburst platies that are absolutely beautiful. I got two half beaks, a pair of male and female half beak. Um, first time I've ever had them, so I'm looking forward to that. I did get some, oh boy, two or three types of endlers that were absolutely beautiful. Um, I got them from, uh, uh, Silver Moon, Lyman. I got uh, Epiplatus annulatus, the Clown Killies. Absolutely love those. Uh, they're babies. They're really tiny, but um, it was like six of them at a really good price. I'm excited for that. Uh, what else did I get? Um... Oh, there was one other tiny one. Chili Rasbora, which I've never had either. 
So I'm thinking a lot of these like endlers and the, these really nano fish. Um, oh my nose! I'm gonna put in the different display tanks that are throughout the house, not necessarily in the basement, because um, I think they'll look really good in them. Did I get anything else? Oh, I got some springtails for the immersed bin. That's what it is. And some narrow leaf java fern on wood. All right. We bought a lot of marshals when we started out. Um, can't let the move get in the way of getting more fish. True story. We both got clown killies now. Yay. They've been so expensive lately. Yeah, they have. They're 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 gaining in popularity. I think is the problem, and then people are buying them because they want them, and not necessarily breeding them. We had Michael's fish room come down and do a talk this past Saturday, Sunday, basically how to make your fish room profitable. He was great. He's a lot of fun. Yeah. Lara got the chilies too. Your half beaks would love springtails. Really? Interesting. Picked up melanistic mosquito fish too. Interesting. A pair of clown killies went for like 34 bucks yesterday. Holy crap. I think I I think that's what I paid for six of them. Let's. Let's go check out that, um, what is it, auction.fish? Is that the website? It is. Okay. Laura says I pay ten dollars each. Only two are left. Luckily, it is a male female pair. Awesome. Yeah. So this is uh, Big Steve's club, the um, Maryland club. Let's see what all he had. Some Daphnia. Guppies, Nacris, Jungle Vow, Red Mangrove, wow, Sunfish, some Shellies, Trachydeids, Pistogrammas. Oh, that's the other thing. I got a Pistogramma Borelli, I believe it is, a pair. That the male is beautiful. 55 gallon aquarium for 20 bucks. It's my kind of deal. Oh, look at this. Shrimp King two and a half low iron tank. Nice for 34 bucks. Two of them. Eighteen eggs of the Rolafi. I think I lost those if I remember correctly. Lots of water sprite. Another P eighty two pair. Isopods. Yellow neo shrimp. Twenty four bucks. Nice. Lots of plants. PVC.
Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? There we go. I think when the computer froze is when that happened. All right, let's see here. Chat hopped quite a bit too. Um, here we go. Here's where I left off. I have mop in there, but don't think that will work except for hiding. They're so small. Oh, I could. You just got to check the mop frequently. They're usually five or six bucks at House of Tropicals. I'm going to get some next time just to sell. Probably go for a dollar a piece next month. Our options are lacking on fish. Okay. I thought $10 at Elmer's Fish Store was a great deal for what I've been seeing them go for. Uh, which club auction is this? That's the Maryland Club, Usama. Uh, uh, they were nice tags. Yep. Too much used crap. Yeah. Um, shrimp guys coming to Pittsburgh Friday, and then I got Lancaster Saturday. And a guy we know is downsizing, so getting a ton from him. Nice. Um, oh, okay, that's the that's the tank that Usama got. I heard prices at yesterday's NJS auction were quite high. Bag of Daphne for twenty four dollars, Java Moss for twenty two. Good grief. Um. There we go. Caught up. There we go. Uh, let's see here. What else do I have? Is that everything? Is everything on the whiteboard? And perfect timing. We're almost at the hour mark. So, yeah, I wanted to get some... Uh, some decent fish to use as show fish. Um, Usama, I already did that. Did your phone die again? Um, I wanted to get the endlers and uh, like the chili rasboras and stuff like that to use for the display tanks because I figured they'd look really cool with that. Um, if they breed, that's even better. I can use them for auctions and stuff like that. Uh, you know, they're, they're, I also think that in towards the future that, um, I'd like to maybe be a vendor at some swaps and stuff like that. So make some money and, you know, some fish are just so easy to breed that why not? I noticed yesterday or Saturday at the swap that there weren't that many shrimp, for example. So I figured that would be easy. Uh, the dance fish group buy, unfortunately, we only had about four people participate. It was four or five. And um, I did get some, I think I got two or three pairs of fish. I don't remember what, though. Let me check. What did I get? There we go. So from the dance fish group buy where the club was paying for shipping, which is awesome. I got. Oh, where the heck's my order? It doesn't have it in email. This one? One of these? There we go. Uh, let's see. Which ones did I get? I got a pair of the Tiger Teddy Live Bears. I lost both of mine. I got the Banded Cuban Limias. Um, a pair of those. And I think that's all I got. Because I think every, everything else on the order was from other people. So yeah, I got those two pairs. 
So I'm definitely excited for that coming this week as well. Usama, the biggest clash update. Uh, we got one more vendor and one person on the waiting list for aquascaping. I think that's it. I think that's the only new update in the last week. Yeah, big Steve. I understand. I understand. Latoya, welcome in. Good seeing you this weekend. Did you run any tests on the water at the new place? No. It should be similar to what I have. Um, I mean, I know all the fish that I've put in it are fine. Mm -hmm. I haven't lost any fish. When will you announce the aquascaping participants? It's a good question. Let me put that on my whiteboard. I got to check all my numbers and everything because during the move, the whiteboard got smudged. Are you going to be summer tubbing now that you have a yard and gardening? Yes, I do really want to. Um, there's two spots that I'd like to put a garden. Uh, one in the backyard, one in the front yard. There is a spot that I've identified that would be perfect for a tub. Um, but the, the challenge will be um, time and also how or what I want to do for the tub. So... And also what I can fit in a car. One thing I have learned this uh, during this move is don't rely on someone else's vehicles. Uh, I'll tell you, I really miss having a truck. I really do. <laughs> Blow my nose again soon. Um, so I'm, uh, that's one concern. And then also just having an extra set of hands to move stuff. Um, so basically, if I can't do it in my car and can't do it by myself, I really don't want to um, do it. I've, um, you know, I'm very grateful for those that have come and helped me. Um, you know, like Cosman last night, Usama last weekend, Callie last weekend, but, um, you know, all those people live far away and I really, um, I, I, I don't want to, I hate asking people that aren't close, you know, like if I had someone that lived within five minutes of me, I wouldn't care. Um, but you know, it, it's, Gas is expensive. Time is precious. So it's just a, it's a pain in the butt, you know. But uh, once I have some time, um, whatever the biggest tub is that I can fit in the back of my car, I would like to get and set that up. Um and then for the, I, I didn't get to weed whack today, so I'll probably do that next weekend. Um, once I get weed, get, you know, do the weed whacking and get the, um, you know, I want to rake up the yard. I, I need to get a presentable. So, ugh, um, yeah, we'll see what, what you know what we can do. I would like to grow like some cucumbers, lettuce, and tomatoes. Maybe some watermelon. That would be amazing. Um, 
I just don't know if I'll get to it this year. We'll see. Let's see here. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Janice says also People's Choice Award and four more show classes. So, yes. I, uh, I mentioned that earlier in the Clash updates. Uh, thank you, Sama. Nancy from Tennessee, welcome. Spent 20 minutes a day working on stuff outside. Sometimes that's the only way I can get stuff done. Yeah, yeah. Now that the days are a li little later, it's easier um, and also now that mermaids and spring break is over, we're back to shorter hours. So I do get home at a more decent time. More like don't depend on people, period. Exactly. I fit a six foot tub in my rogue. rogue. Would have been a lot easier in a truck though. Nancy, don't you have a truck as well? I'll tell you, something I've thought about is, number one, I don't like my car. Um, I have a uh, GMC Terrain, and uh, I'm just really not that impressed with it. Um, I'm more of a truck person, but I've thought about trading in my car for something maybe the same age or even a year older and smaller and then I won't have a car payment um and then like paying saving up and paying cash for like a two or three thousand dollar truck and have two vehicles the car would be something very fuel efficient. So I'd save money in that perspective. And while I'd be getting something that is not newer, the truck could be an emergency backup if something happened in a car. I don't know. I've thought about it, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. Osama says, friendships are precious too, Scotty, and friends help each other. Uh, yes, and I do appreciate it. But it sucks when everyone lives far away. Lara says, get one like Latoya, that flexible. What does she have? I'm not sure. You can run a truck from Home Depot just to bring the tub home. Yeah, but that costs money. Zen says, okay, food is in the oven. Official howdy, peeps. <laughs> Hello again, Zenny. Cucumbers are easy. You can grow them in a large pot. Perfect. I do have a truck. It's not as reliable as it used to be. Damn dear, right? My work just put us in those stupid Ford Mavericks. Wow. What a turd, freaking hybrid, electric, crunchy granola turd. Um, that's a, that's an expensive truck for a work truck, isn't it? Latoya has a pool pond. Oh, I thought you were talking about a vehicle. Okay. I see what you're saying. I get it. All right. It is after eight o'clock now. I am going to end the stream. I'm going to go blow my nose and get things situated for work tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> and I, my goal is for next by next Monday. I want to have the fish room just about done. And maybe I will be ready to show it. And I think I can have it done by then. 
Then the other thing is I am going to do a members only stream once I get the house situated and do a tour. So that might, I think next weekend is my long weekend. I have ACLC Saturday. I think I'm working at the school on Sunday, but only a half a shift. And then I'm off on Monday. So maybe Sunday I'll do a member stream. Maybe. I have a class meeting too. We'll see. And then um, Monday, maybe I'll stream from the fish room. Or at least set up a camera down there. Maybe I'll put the iPad down there. We'll see. I don't know. I got to figure all that out. Um, oh, okay. The Maverick's like a El Camino. Probably not built anywhere near like an El Camino, though, unfortunately. They don't make the cars like they used to. <sighs> Garden of Eaters talking on Sulawasi Shrip tonight. When I finally get back, it ends. Oh, poor Zenny. Join us for D&D tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be there. I got to remember. So I went... Uh, I went to um, the farmer's market Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And got some chicken, got some steak, got some lunch meats, um, rolls, stuff like that. Because I haven't grocery shopped in probably three or four weeks. So I was out completely. So I got those things. Uh, I still need to go to the actual grocery store and get some stuff, including popcorn for tomorrow night. Tuesday night's my popcorn night during D&D. Thanks to Killer Kitty. Let's see. Yes, a member stream. If anyone brings Killies on Friday, I can text you and bring Saturday. Yeah, keep me posted. If it's something I don't have or... I did... During the move, I lost my female bundle of Pantrex Gardener Eye Yellow. I lost my yellow Watchman Gobi, Saltwater Fish. He was like... I can't remember if he was 6 years old or 10 years old. But he was pretty freaking old. Um... I think that's all I lost. I think. I still got to go through an inventory. I wish there were more actual cars with truck beds, especially these damn electric trucks. They don't even have an engine. Why is it at my eye level? I had a, uh, when I had my business, I had a 1983, so older than me. Chevy C10 Custom Deluxe. It was brown. Inside and out. The floorboards were rusted out. So I had plywood there. Um, I paid $150 for it. I used it for the business to tow the trailer. For two years. And then sold it for $500. Bucks. That was a... Uh, that truck was a workhorse. And then I had my... What, I have two Fords? I want to say I had a 97 and then a 2002. Yeah. Yeah. I had a 97 F-150. I had a 2002 F-150. And then um, the most recent truck was the GMC truck. That truck was beautiful. It rode nice. It was sharp looking. It had the custom exhaust. So you hit that gas just the right way and certain body parts have vibrated and I loved it. Um, it was a powerful truck too. 
But with that comes poor gas. And that's one thing, you know, I, I got rid of that to get this car because, you know, I went from 10 or 12 miles per gallon to 24 miles per gallon. Well, as much as I'm commuting, I now want something that gets like 34 miles per gallon. But there's no way I could survive just having a car car. You know, at least right now I have a crossover. I need a truck. <laughs> Steve. Thank you, Big Steve. Appreciate it. You don't have to do that. I'm inviting people to watch the stream and hang out. <laughs> Usama, we should do... You got me thinking. I'll message you. Watch out for those lunch meats, Sodium City. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't need it. Like, so what I do is I do a sandwich with two slices of cheese, one slice of ham, and then either like some buffalo chicken or turkey and mayo. Went from no popcorn to a weekly popcorn night. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it. There we go. Zenny dropping the D&D link. I got a bit on shrimp. Keep my, yes. I still need to get all my shrimp situated. I put the PBLs in the tank. Um, but the tangerine tigers and red cherries are still in a shoebox. And... I have not. Did I unbag the yellow shrimp? I haven't seen any. Where did I put them? I'll have to check that. I don't know. It's a very good song, Big Steve. Um, yeah. I mean, this truck was hideous. It, it was. It was just a, a one wheel drive. It wasn't a four by four or anything. Um, it was old, it was rusty, but she was, she was a good truck. Old Betsy was her name. Melvin, welcome in. Of course, we're getting ready to end it. Uh, so what I'm hearing is your vehicle is transgender. Yes. Uh, Silverado gets like 17 miles per hour. Well, that's pretty decent, actually. The rogue average is mid thirties. My high score was forty four point one. Nice. What kind of truck do you have, Nancy? I want to say it's a Chevy fifteen hundred. I think I've seen a picture of it. Maybe. Stephen White, welcome in. Nice, cool breeze coming in this window. It's so nice. It's nice being able to. Just different things that I'm enjoying now that I'm at home. Having the windows open and a breeze coming in. Um, I want to put the one on my Amazon list. Did I close it? I closed it. But um, I have like a glider chair um, that I want to put out back. You know, nice summer night. Sit in the glider Playing on my phone, drinking a beer. Sounds really nice. Looking forward to it. Nancy has a 2007 1500 Silverado. See, I freaking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Trans Nathan. Nice. Um, yeah. I mean, I think it would be nice to have something that's extremely fuel efficient. And then, um, like a larger truck to use to go to Home Depot and go get that free fish tank that I found and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it would be a good backup. All right. It's time to end it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Big Steve. Thank you, Cosman. Thank you, everybody.
that's helped out. And however you've helped out, I really appreciate it. Where's my outro? Thank <laughs> you.